Hello there folks, hello, 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 and welcome to episode two of my uh, little pod show, um, Reversing the Hold, with me, Mad Dog Max, and me, Matt Powell. Um, so today's um, special guest, because obviously you know with the, the second season I'm bringing guests in and we're interviewing and we're having chats with them. Today's special guest is none other than World of Sports TV star and British wrestling veteran, um, the Rock and Roll Express, Blondie Barrett. Um, he's not here at the moment. Um, I'm just filming this intro to kind of like, uh, to big him up and let you know who he is. If you don't already know, I'm sure you do, but to, to big him up and, and do a bit of background. So I'm not doing it in front of him because uh, I've, I'm learning as I go with this. I'm not very technical and I'm, I've not got a producer or anything like that. It's just me and a camera. In uh, Last week I was in a, a kitchen backstage at a show with a sink behind me. Today I'm in a ring truck because we're at a carnival. So I'm just learning as I go. And I think doing the intro with Chris Royals while he was sitting there and doing the outro was a little bit awkward because I was talking about him and bigging him up and he kind of just has to sit there and look at me talk about him. So like I say, I'm learning as I go and I, I'm getting a little bit better hopefully so yeah i'm introducing bob but i'm also introducing why i'm introducing him on my own i think i guess <laughs> but anyway yeah as i says um bob barrett blondie barrett the rock and roll express he's uh he's been wrestling for a long time now we, we we'll go into what years he started and all of that when i bring him in as a guest um but basically bob was a what i always call a, a professional you know he hit the road every day of the week at one point you know um he, he's, he's wrestled for joint promotions and for Brian Dixon and he's wrestled all over the world. Again, we'll get all of that off him. But what I'm relaying to you guys is me as a, a teenager, when I first come across Bob, a lot of the veterans were a bit thorny and a bit cagey, which I get and I understand. But Bob was the first, what I would say, proper wrestler, professional, to like not kick me head in and, and not, not be horrible to me. You know, he took the time to, to talk to me, really, and he was very, very nice to me, which is one of the reasons why I, I like to have him on our shows, because I know he'll do exactly the same for our youngsters, you know. But I, I, I'm just bigging him up, really, before he gets in and before we tune in. Um, he's just a phenomenal wrestler, wrestled on TV all over the world. Uh, Kendall Nagasaki's tag partner, um, Bobby Barnes, his tag partner. And again, we'll go into all that when he gets here, but I just wanted you, the viewer or the listener, depending on how you, you consume this podcast, to know that I just think he's awesome and he's he's one of my heroes. And it's easy to say that when he ain't sitting next to me so I don't make him blush or me blush or whatever, you know. But yeah, Bob's fantastic and we're going to interview him in a, a short while. Um, I'm actually at Shirley Carnival, Shirley in Birmingham. This is a carnival. Um, you know, they've got a, a pipe band playing over there, which I will film later. I think we're going to use them for the outro of the show. Um, we'll, I'll show you them a bit later. And if there's anything else of interest that goes on, I'll probably pop it into the podcast either before I bring Bob in or after. It depends how, how I edit it tonight at home, really. And when I say edit, I mean I've got a weird little program called You Cut on my phone and it just chops and changes bits and puts it together. So it's not fancy. I'm not, I'm not all of a sudden giving into technology, I promise you. But yeah. Um, this week's all about Bob Barrett, but we are here at Shirley Carnival. Um, I might film one of the bouts for you and attack it on the end or before I do the interview or whatnot. But I hope that all of this makes sense because I, I don't have a script, I just talk and say stuff. Um, and the next time I see you, I'll either be in the ring over there entertaining the good folks of Shirley or I will be sitting down and interviewing Bob Barrett. So depending on how I edit it, here's the next segment. Ah, uh, right then folks, so I've got, I've hooked up with Bob, we are in the glamorous ring van, like last week we were in the kitchen. Cheers Bob, nice All one. Pants. <laughs> um, so basically, with this show, with this season, I, I, I try to explore why people got into wrestling and how they got into wrestling, I think it's interesting. Um, so Bob, basically the question is, when, when and how did you get into wrestling, but the fun bit is why as well, like was there a match or a wrestler or something, you know? Uh, it, it, it were different times, Matt. Yeah. It, it was like uh, I used to go to my local hall, the Windmill Club in Rushton, with my dad, and it was once a month. It was uh, late sixties, yeah. something like that. How and, old would uh, you have been? Fourteen. Yes, yeah. read about that, and uh, it, it was it was the chance to see people that you, you were seeing on telly. Yes, you know, in the flesh, sort of thing. You yeah. Know, like, you see it on the telly and um, seeing it live was even better because uh, they were more, I don't know what the word is, um, you know, they, they could 
do more. Okay. You know what yeah. I mean? So I, like what you saw on television, you saw more when you went to watch yeah. them live. Yeah. 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 I'm not going to think what the word is. <laughs> uh, um, drunk. Um, but uh, yeah, like you saw them in the flesh and uh, even then I used to have a little drink. A little nice. drinky yeah. here and there with my dad and um, you'd go down into the the lounge afterwards and, and it was a day like halls now they they close the bar will shut at yeah. half time but yeah. they all used to come in and have a pint like you know after the show sort of nice thing. and um you know you got chatting to them and things like this and uh, that was sort of a lot of them they didn't stay in character you know yeah, they, they, yeah. they were nice blokes that would go and they, relax after yeah yeah, yeah. Just having a pint together yeah. and things like that. And, uh, Would you agree then? Now it was <coughs> more of a sport, so it's only like Alan Shearer finishing his match and going to have a drink after. Yeah, I suppose it yeah. could be a bit more relaxed afterwards, yeah. if that makes sense. I'm just asking, yeah. really. Yeah. Well, Wendy used to work at Sheffield Wednesday. I'll tell you this quick. Yeah. And like in the in the bar there, the players lounge there, and they all came in together exactly. and had a drink. Yeah. You know the two teams. Yeah. You know, and, and they're they're mates. Yeah. You know, nowadays it, it like people think of wrestling uh, like. They see these American wrestlers and they're all giants and they're all yeah. steroided up and all this and that, whatever. They'll say they're not, but they are. And, <laughs> you know, like they're, they're a figure and you can't get anywhere near them. Yes, untouchable. But, but, yeah. but then, in my mind, it was better because, you know, you could you could approach them. Yeah. You could, you could ask them like I did, like, uh, you know, I'd love to have a go at this wrestling. Oh, so that is how you got in then talking really, to them? Really, yeah, because... Um, uh, it was the windmill club at Rushton, like I say, and uh, Ken and Doug Joyce. Doug Joyce was still wrestling there. Oh, um, right. Brothers, like step brothers, yes. from Rushton. Yeah. It was his, his his show, Ken and that, and uh, it, it'd be once a month, like every month. I'd probably have August off or something like yeah. that, and um, it'd be four or five hundred every month. It was always Jeez. full, yeah. you know. And me and my dad used to stand at the back, you know. It was about five shillings or something like that, yeah. old money, yeah. something like that, and uh, it, it were great, you know, you, you really looked forward to it, and then start, yeah. started going to the drill hall at Northampton, that was every other Friday, oh God, and okay. my mate used to come with us there as well, Where Where there. Where are the getting interrupted uh, by the MC, it's finished now, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so like, the same sort of thing, like you'd see some different wrestlers there, because mainly at Rushton, Ken had the London Yes, yeah, London. makes sense, yeah. yeah, and, yeah. and then Northampton, it was like, like that was Devereux Promotions at Rushton. Okay. Uh, it was Dale Martins of London at uh, Northampton. Yes. But they had the Northerners come down as well. Oh, so you've you seen know. them all then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just closed group or no, whatever, no, no, you've no, seen no. all of them. And it was, it was like, in the heyday, like, you'd have Hadrian Street, Bobby Barnes, like the Elder Angels, which, Adrian Street was one of my idols where I yeah. ended up with you the blonde hair. You can tell, hair. no, you can tell, yeah. <laughs> with the blonde yeah. hair and yes. that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and uh, like, Naggers. Yeah. Same yeah. thing, sort of thing, like, yeah. they always say, don't meet your idols. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, that's how it went. Yeah. And, uh, so, you know, you approached them, you know, how do I get into wrestling or whatever. Did you tell your dad you were going to do that? Was he supportive of you getting into wrestling or did he not want you getting battered every week? Like, what was his I, take on it? I, I think he'd have loved it because he used to watch it. He, used to, he, he was the archetypal what you you say like they're like sitting at home watching it and chucking yes. things at the table. Yeah, yeah, getting angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and uh, you, you'd say even when I was like been in the job and that, it, it'd say, it'd say, well, title matches are not fixed, but <laughs> yeah. but the other yeah. matches are. Right? That's like, you know, yeah. I was like, yes, Dad, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was the general public. Yeah. You know, they viewed what went on, you know, on Saturday afternoons as legit, didn't they? It yeah. was respected. Yeah. Yeah. And in fairness, it was presented as a sport as well. Mm. So why not? Yeah. You know, yeah, I, exactly. I love it. That's that's my yeah. favourite style anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so just fast forward a little bit. Was it? Ken Joyce, you got in with initially, or did you go elsewhere and then? Because I know you, I, I, I want to ask you about Ken Joyce in a little bit. Mm. But with, did you initially start training with him, or what? What was your story from there? Not or? really with Ken, no, because um, there was a, a, another fella. He, he's he's marked, you know, now, but uh, for other things he did. But 
he sort of got yeah. me a trial, John Harris. Okay. He got me a trial with uh, joint promotions. No way. And I had to go to Bletchley, Bletchley yeah. Leisure Centre. <laughs> and uh, there was a show on a Saturday. Uh, yeah. A ring was up and everything about four o'clock. And they put me in with Jackie Turpin. Yeah. Who was a very handy boxer. Well, aren't they a boxing and, family, the yeah, Turpins? Total, yeah, 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 total, yeah. Total boxing family. Yeah. But then uh, he went into the wrestling sort of thing. Like, 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 like his, his uncle did, didn't he? Randolph. Yes. After he finished done his, yeah. done his bit. Yeah. But um, yeah, and uh, I'd like a trial if you like. Yeah. And then um, well, was that just a roll around on the mats to see how good you were, or was it on the show, or what? what no, was it wasn't it? on the show. It was oh, okay, like, so it was for the promoters or whatever yeah, to look yeah, at yeah, you and yeah, see if you got there. I can't remember now. It was, ages. was it hard going? Yeah. Yeah, so it was work because like, me and my mate used to. This sounds tough, but we, we used to push the settee to one side yes. and have a wrestle in the front room. Right, me know? and my brother did and exactly that, yeah. the same. We yeah. turned that daft bomb. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I say like, you, but when you get in with a proper pro, yes. You're apprehensive for a start. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. Of what you're going to do. Is he going to break your arm? Yeah, or is yeah. he going to beat me up? Or, or yeah, am I going to do something to hurt him? And yeah, that, and yeah. You know, it, 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 it must have gone all right. Yeah, well, you're still here. Uh, you're still yeah. wrestling. Yeah, and, and, uh, and what year would that have been, your tryout, Bob? That was, I'd say, because we were doing little shows around Northamptonshire. Yes. And uh, Buckinghamshire before this. But yeah. I'd say this would have been... Back end maybe of seventy six. Wow, okay. okay. Something like that. Yeah. Might have been seventy seven, I'm not sure. Yeah. And um uh, probably nothing come of it immediately. I really can't remember. But uh, <laughs> um I've had a few of these since. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And um we I got I, I had a job for Ken Joyce out of the blue. Yeah. And that was in December. That would have been December seventy seven. And I was on with Jackie Robinson. Brilliant wrestler. Yeah, I was only talking to you talking about him this about morning. Him, fantastic yeah. wrestler. And, and uh, a really nice bloke as well, because obviously lovely. you introduced me to him at the reunion. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, that, that's Billy Robinson's cousin. Yeah. And, he's, and I was aware of his own career as yeah. well. I was a fan moment for me yeah. to meet him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nice yeah. bloke. Yeah, he was a great bloke. He was a, and he's missed he is. And yeah. uh, so he um, went on with him and uh, he, he could have totally screwed me up and yeah. tied me in the knot, but he didn't. Yeah. You know, again, because he's a nice bloke. Yeah. yeah. And um, got through that. And then something happened, I don't know how long how long it was, but that was a, a Ken Joyce show. And then after that, I got a job at um, Digbeth. Oh, okay. Came Down the road through. from here. Yeah, yeah with Shirley there. at the moment. Yeah. 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 And uh, out of the blue, really. I come down and I was on. I was on with Lucky Gordon, so I was a babyface. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Me, baby the young, uh, fresh face, yeah, babyface. Oh, yeah, 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 I still am. <laughs> and and um, we're Lucky Gordon. Did you have the blonde hair yet? Yes, no, I did. It's okay. Yes, okay. I did. Not as long as I had it. Yes, but, yeah. but long hair. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, I went on there. And then the following month, Max Crabtree were there, so he must have watched it. Right. So okay. For some yeah. reason. And then so the it just said some dominoes in a line yeah, for you. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, the following month, me and John, Johnny Kidd, yeah. we got a date sheet come through. You used to get a date sheet. Yes. All your dates on yes. Like 1 to 31, and they'd say where you are. And, that, and um, we got like, if it were a, if it were a 30. The I'm music's just laughing. so loud. I hope you can hear us, <laughs> folks. Oh, yeah. I'm just laughing because that boot lid come down on that bloke's head. Ah, did he knock his head? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sorry, you don't yeah, yeah. 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 And so it was a 30-day 30, 30 month. Yes. We had something like 28. Wow. So it went from like the odd job to, right, you got 28 yeah, in a row. Just Go. like that. Fuck. And me and John, we all said it was that was a test. Yeah. To see if you'd do it. Because you could you have know. maybe done two weeks, been yeah. too hard for you and never yeah. come back, I'm yeah. guessing. Or yeah. you couldn't get off and you couldn't get to the jobs. Yes. Like yeah. Well, I had a very understanding where I worked. And yes. That, uh, yeah, I was that's lucky good. there. So you and, and John then went full time at the same time. Yeah. And I've got to ask you this do you think you've anybody, any two people have ever wrestled each other as much as you and Johnny <laughs> Keith? I've, I, well, as a kid, I had like programs and results and DVDs that I'd yeah. swap. And I think on almost every one, you'd be battering Johnny Keith. <laughs> You must have had what thousands of matches. What would you say as a guess? I don't know. It's in. I it. really can't. It's high, oh, so. isn't it? It's hundreds yeah. and hundreds and hundreds, yeah. isn't it? It's, it's, it's got to be. It's yeah. like ridiculously high, yeah. isn't it? You and him yeah. toured the country for years, <clears throat> isn't it? You know that oh, match. No, you'd you'd always get matches like um, 
Mick McManus and Johnny Quango. That were an old staple. Yes, you yeah. know, that would be everywhere. Yes, or, yeah. or Cat Weasel and Sid Cooper yeah. or things like that. I suppose if something but, clicks, you just put it yeah, on. And yeah, other promoters yeah. will then put it on, yeah. won't they? Well, yeah. I, think, I think as much as anything, they knew they could bung us on and we could do time. Yeah. You know, like if there's, yeah. a, if there's a daddy tag on and it's going to do eight minutes. Yeah. You knew each other, you could just go and do the work. So you yeah. were the workhorses in that sense. Maybe, yeah, 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 that's I pretty cool. You'd say that. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, um, um, you know you know what I do want to ask you about, Bob? Because I, I th we've spoke about this privately briefly, and I think it's good in that I know Ken Joyce helped you out a lot in the start. Mm. Am I right in saying that? And yeah. you were around him a bit and whatnot. Yeah. And it, you've said this to me, but I have this opinion now since I've gone away and looked at it. How proficient and how technical and how great yeah. Ken Joyce was yeah. and yeah. I don't think he gets them Jews would you I, I, there's people watching this now who probably never even heard his name but they mm. might YouTube him now or Google him would you just give us 30 seconds about him because I think he's a fantastic wrestler well I'd say Ken Joyce is as good as anybody I've ever seen I, I agree I mean I, I didn't see him because he's been he was around from probably early 50s or something yes. like that maybe yeah. you know but I, I saw him like from back end of the 60s upwards until he retired. Yeah. And um, I just think, again, you could you could go on with Ken Joyce yeah. and, you know, he could, he could well, he could destroy you if he wanted to. So he was a shooter or, then? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. He used to say, like, if you don't steam into me, he says, I'm not going to give you nothing. <laughs> and that, and, so you had to take yeah. it or it weren't and happening? He, he used Brilliant. to have these big fists, big knobbly old hands, <laughs> yeah. and he used to whack you on yeah. your chest. Like, yeah. oh, it felt like he's going to come out your back. Yeah. You know, yeah. things like that. But yeah. But it was always a baby face, and yeah. That, and but you know, he was tremendous. Technical honestly. wrestling, so impressive. Yeah, yeah. There's one match. There's a match of him and a very young Johnny Kidd on YouTube. It's an ITV match. Yeah, yeah. Fucking brilliant. Yeah. And he's and I don't mean this horrible at all. I'm complimenting. He's an old man by then. Yeah. And yeah. that match is fantastic. Yeah. I think he's a great yeah. guy. Don't yeah. get his due, in my opinion. You know. So I just wanted to dedicate 60 seconds to him. Yeah. I think he's brilliant. Too quick. There's yeah. another match on there, and he's on with Johnny Saint. And it's it's a show. It's somewhere like Woking or somewhere yeah. like that down south. And uh, it's obvious to me that it was the last match on the night. Right. Okay. And uh, they they rushed it. It was a bit rushed. That's a shame. And it, it ended up ended up two falls to nil yeah. to Johnny Saint. Yeah. But Ken was leading that. Yes. Match. Yeah. And it was his match yeah, still. Yeah. yeah. Ken was leading that match. I don't care what anybody says. Yes. Like, yeah. That's on YouTube. If yeah. Wants oh, to watch it. I'm going to go and watch yeah. that now. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, and to me, it was the last match on, and it was probably running over time was on yes, the TV. Of course, yeah. Which yeah. they used to do. Yeah. And, uh, like, they'd brushed it. Yeah. And he went down too straight to finish it early because yeah, the cameras were ready to go. Yeah, with, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's a shame. Yeah. But, yeah. but I bet, again, though, like you say, I bet it's still a great match, even yeah. under that. Oh, you yeah. Know? yeah. Yeah, well, you can see it. You watch it, and Ken's all over him. Right, okay. Yeah, like, and he's dictating the pace, yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah. Ken, Ken and Steve Gray, or yes. Ken and Mal Sanders, or anybody like that. But it was just fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was a complete generation before them. Mm, still yeah. keeping up with them. All. Yeah. I think he's great. Yeah. Yeah. Now, bringing up World of Sport and the TV, because you just <coughs> brought it up. Um, what was that like, wrestling? You knew it was being recorded for telly. Um, what, how different was that to a normal town show? Was it different? You know, was there um, more pressure? Was there more instruction? What was it like? Go through that because we, you there's a generation allowed, of wrestling fans who ain't got a clue. You, you weren't that. allowed. I didn't do that many tellies, but uh, you weren't allowed to to swear anything of course, like that. Yeah. Obviously, you were given uh, like yeah, yeah, instructions yeah, backstage. Yeah. Like that, Kent Walton, the commentator. First yeah. time I met him. He looked at me and I've got these tattoos and that, and he says, you haven't got any nude women on your arms, have you? Yeah. And I says, why is that? And he said, because we won't be able to show it. You wouldn't even be allowed even on the then. telly. Yes, yes, no. of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which I thought Which, was funny. Which, the peanut woman was quite popular yeah. back then as a yeah. tattoo, weren't it? Yeah. So that would have barred you yeah. from getting on the telly, jeez. <laughs> yeah, it was funny, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, so... And what were, were the matches, were you giving any extra instruction because it was on telly, or were you just told to get on with it, you well, know? You'd, you'd have to do... A stringent time if they said like 12 minutes you're doing 12 you're, you're doing 12 which makes minutes. sense because the yeah. tv time and yeah. all that yeah yeah things like that and yeah. uh you know like 
nowadays they get in the ring and they don't want to get out, do they? Yeah, yeah. You know, like yeah. I want to yeah. get in and do as little as possible. Yeah. Get out. Yeah. But but you know what I mean? It, yeah. It's 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 totally different. Um, um, you know, backstage where the shows say you did Friday night in Hanley and it weren't recorded; it was just a show. Oh. And then I don't know. Say Saturday was for Croydon and it was recorded for telly. Was the backstage different? Did you have different people there, or was it just another show that happened to be recorded? You know, what was it like backstage? There was more people there because they, they TV executives. Sick. No, no, you oh, didn't okay. really see any of that. Okay. No, no not, not that I can remember. Yeah. You, you'd have more wrestlers because of they course, also they wanted more recorded. Matches. Yeah. You know, they'd record two two weeks of yep. Saturday that afternoons makes sense. On, on one uh, on So one was show. it harder going on last because the crowd had seen a load of matches? It was, yeah. A lot of times as well, they wouldn't even film the last match. No way. You know, because the crowd would be a bit quieter. Maybe, yeah. 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 But you, makes sense. you'd see them like, you could watch them and like, say you were on last. And yeah. Like, I've, I've watched bits and that, and you can see Kent Walton and he's, he takes oh, his headphones no. off. So lights you just know you're not going yeah, to yeah. be on TV. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. So the, well, the best, the best job you got was if you were a standby for the telly. Okay. Because uh, they always used to put two standbys in case somebody didn't turn up. Yeah, or there was an injury but, or yeah. something. I'm guessing. But, Everybody wanted to be on the telly, so they always turned up. So you went there and you got like 40 quid or something. Just for sitting <laughs> for around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thing, you know. And in fairness, if you go back to them, that's a lot more than yeah. 40 quid, isn't it? Oh, yeah. you know, it's like a couple of hundred quid yeah. for chilling out with your mates, it was all I guess. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everybody across the board, they, they got 40 quid mm. and then it went up to 60. I don't know why. Yeah. Also, no, you didn't ask for it, you just, no. just turned yeah, up in but, your hand. But, yeah. For a TV show, like Daddy would be going around the halls and getting off these promoters loads of money. Yes, yes. And that, but he'd, in my mind, he would probably get in the same as 60 yeah, quid yeah, for a yeah. TV. As, but as I suppose, as. in a way, it was the TV that made him famous, so he could go and make all that money yeah, when yeah. he weren't on TV. Yeah. I, you know, it's yeah. a bit of a bargain, isn't it, really? I, I get that. Um, so, yeah, yeah that, that's interesting. What about, like, uh, I don't know, really silly things like ring lights? Was You know, like now, everything's LED, so it's not mm, hot. I bet yeah. you were baking under the sun, weren't you? Because oh, I've heard yeah. a few wrestlers complain about that. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, they're really hot. Them like, whole, the like, old, big we've had, we've had can them, lamps, isn't there? Yeah, we've had them explode on us. Um, Whoa. Like, yeah. Me and John again, we were at this um, <laughs> Dunstable one yeah. time, and one of these lights exploded, and they stopped the match, and... Uh, swept the ring with this old brush, this old broom thing, and that, I grabbed the broom and hit John with it, and then he grabbed it, and he hooked me around the neck with it, and it had still got bits of this glass in, oh. and it was still hot, yeah, this yeah, bleeding yeah. glass, and it burned right in the back of no my neck. No way. Yeah, yeah. That, that were a bit dodgy. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, another time at uh, Maidstone, I think it was, and there, there, there was a lot of um, travellers there, they, they used to, one would pay to get in and, and open the fire doors and let them out 40 <laughs> That's in. the way to do every, business, every time, I like it. Yeah, every time and that. And uh, there one night, we were on last again, and uh, all the lights went. And like, oh, what's going on here? You can hear all this noise. Yeah. The lights come back on and they were all around the ring. Yeah. And they were all banging on the ring. Oh, good God, let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah, look at no, yeah. that. Right, dodgy. Well, you've actually been in riots. Tell us about one of your riots. You know, like, oh. I remember you saying you were in Naggers, it was Norwich Way or something. You had to, you know, you, do you know what I mean? Tell us about. Uh, now, fans will get angry and write a strongly worded tweet. <laughs> you know, you were in the era where you might get knocked round the head with a chair oh. or an ashtray or something. You've got yeah. to let us know about one oh. of your riots you were in. Oh, there were just so many. Yeah. You know, like things like Kendo didn't have to do anything yeah. to wind them up. Yeah. He was already over before yeah. he stepped out, yeah. weren't he? He, he really, really didn't have to yeah. do anything because yeah. he'd got that reputation and, and that was it, you know. Like, mm. And um, like, little me, I were in there <laughs> to get the battering, really. I mean, and then he'd come back and do a spectacular. Yeah, and do the superhero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever, <laughs> things like that. But yeah, there's so many things like we, we go on with like stacks or something yeah. like that and uh, things like that. Stacks was hated universally all over the country yes. until he was in tax with us. That's brilliant, isn't yeah. it? That's really yeah. good. That and then he was a raving baby Yeah, and they loved him. Yeah. That's cool, that yeah. is. And again, you should be proud of that, in that like you guys together were I'm, enough to I'm, turn I'm, him. You know? I am really proud you that should. they allowed me to be in those matches. Yeah. Like, I had like four years or whatever it were of, of that. Just top of the and bill. That top of the bill, yes. Because yeah. yes. without that, I, I ain't got a name, nobody knows who I am, but I've got a little bit of somebody like among the wrestling yeah, absolutely. fraternity, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't claim to be a star or anything, I never have done, I never tried to, well you know what I'm like, Yes. And but 
but for that little time, I, I was proud that Nagasaki, Nagasaki picked me. Yes. To be his partner, and not only that, yeah, he picked you, but it worked because otherwise you'd have had two weeks and he'd have been another partner. Yeah, yeah. years and years, you yeah. had that spot, so yeah. you pulled your weight when you got the spot. Yeah, that's all you can ask well, for, isn't when it? I, when know? I finished with him, in like we had a fallout, <laughs> and and um, it was about ninety two, end of ninety two or something yes. like that. Yeah, he carried on for about six months and with then different partners, then yes. he packed it up. Well, there you go. So in that, that says in that a lot way, too. Yeah. I'd been with him four years, but you were having somebody here, somebody here. Yeah, like here. just pick your partners, <coughs> yeah, whoever he. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, some of the some of the dudes. Well, I quite like that. You've said I've got to get to the right anyway, but I quite like that in that you said it earlier, and you have said it to me privately as well. In that Adrian Street was one of your heroes, mm. and then you replaced him in that tag yes, team with Bobby yeah. Barnes. Yeah, I, I think know, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And then again, Nagas, you watched him live as a kid and loved him, and then ended up being his tag partner. I had a, I that's had two a, very good spots. That I is. I'd be proud of it. I've never told anybody this. <laughs> hey, to these people here. Scoop. Yeah. Um, I had a pet dog, and I called it. Kendo. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. And obviously that was years before you even met And it was an evil bastard, yeah. just the same as it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Put a mask on and boy, yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, no, it was, Fantastic. It, it, it was a great time. Yeah. Uh, again, it was different times. Yeah. You know, like like on your shows and that, like they get up, don't they? they yeah. They come up sort of Great thing. crew. The, the most eat probably I ever had was when we, me and Danny did that cage thing. Yeah, phenomenal. Uh, I can't believe the eat. And, and, yeah. and then and when I tipped one, him off that yeah, stretcher, oh. the eat that got. And that, another that was, one, I, I was on with you in Bilston and I thought the crowd were actually going to eat Yeah, you, you know, mm. when you put one on a lease. Oh yeah, and yeah, I, yeah, that time. That yeah. was actually like <coughs> hairy. Yeah. The crowd, it was beginning to bubble. <laughs> and I got a taste of what it was like when you would have been in King's Lynn punching your way through a yeah, crowd, you yeah. know what I mean? Sorry, would you tell us about that? Like, you don't have to go into specifics or anything like that, but how it felt because there's a riot going on because of mm. your match and you've got to get from the ring to the backstage. You've got to tell us how yeah. that felt because wrestlers today, unless you wrestle in certain parts of Mexico, you ain't getting no. a riot in 2022, no. you know? Well, like, I think it, I think it was Cle I'm sure, yeah, Cleethorpes. Okay. And that we were on there with Pat Roach and Johnny Angel, and that and Cleethorpes, the ring was like made of concrete. <laughs> it was the hardest ring. So you, you didn't want to take bumps to yeah. to damage yourself. Yeah. Like. yeah. Well, you um, wouldn't be able to work the next we, day or no, whatever. Yeah. No. And you got through this match. We got through this match, and they were right up and all that. And we did some of it at the end. Pat Roach's thing, he used to sit down in the middle of the ring. I'm not leaving till I get satisfaction. A rematch or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Brilliant. Anyway, okay. that, that, that really That's pretty cool, anyway, isn't it? Anyway, he, he was sitting there. We fight our way out the ring because they're so up. Yeah. And that, you go out this door, you turn left, you go down the corridor and there's a tea bar there. Yeah. And then you had to go through another two double, two double door things right. into the dressing room. So it's a bit of a maze to yeah. get there, yeah. Right. The punters come after us. <laughs> like, not one door off its hinges. <laughs> They've got something from under the ring, like a big spanner or Jesus. a lump hammer. Whatever they something. can get their hands on there. Smashing yeah. this. It was like, here's Johnny. It was like coming through the door. <laughs> Honest to God, it was like that. I ain't exaggerating. And um, I'm in there. Nagasaki, in all his gear, what he'd got on, he's still got the mask yeah. on and everything. Gathered the bag up and they went out the back door and yeah. just went. Well, it don't they, matter how tough you are. If no. you've got 400 people yeah. coming for you, you yeah. you'd like, yeah. got to be dog meat, didn't you? Yeah, you're of course dead. you are. Yeah. 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 Yeah, oh, unbelievable. Jeez. That was just one of them. I mean, and I bet that was like adrenaline as well. You know, it, I bet you don't sleep that night. You know, I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I you thought did, it was job right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was going to say you're yeah. doing something right. Oh, yeah, you know. No, I say I've never claimed to be any good at what I do and all I'll that. Dis and I'll disagree but, with you. But, yeah. but no, but you know what yeah. I say. And and but to get people, you can do that. Like like I always say to these kids, they want to do 500 big bumps. Yes, yes. You can get as much heat by glaring or yeah. something at somebody, yeah. by doing exactly the same thing, you know, instead of knackering yourself up yeah. and that. So, you know, that's some of the young ones want to know. I know you teach them, right? Yeah, no, but, I, yeah. But uh, that's another thing. But, you know, to be, to, not, not me personally being able to do that, but I mean, all, all the, you know, I've got so much, Affection for all those wrestlers that come before me, and Same. I you know, completely understand be, that because people always go on about these reunions and things about TV wrestlers and that. What about all the wrestlers before them? The, yes, through the, the 30s, they were just the 40s, as good, the but there weren't no TV. Yeah, they, they well, it was you who introduced me to Athel Oakley's book, that book yeah. and I read that cover to cover, give it your mm. back, and went and brought one yeah. because I wanted yeah. a copy just to own yeah. it, you yeah. know. And that, yeah, without mm. him, would you have had TV without his era? You wouldn't, would you? No, no, no. you're absolutely right no. there. Yeah, it, it sort of evolved yeah. into TV wrestling, didn't yes. it? Yes, you know. But and 
it were great that you had like the big evil villains, yes. you had the comedy villains, yeah. you had the comedy wrestlers, yeah. things like that, you know, the, the, the evolution, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, which is fantastic. You know, which is great. Well, like you say, without what come before, you're mm. buggered, didn't you? You yeah. ain't got anything. No. So I, I'll tell you what as well, if you don't mind, I'll go off on a bit of a, a thing. You say like, uh, you rolled that, you was top of the bill for four years with naggers and that, that, that did put <coughs> your name in spotlights because, again, yeah. when I was a tape trader, I would, I would like swap tapes with people on the internet, mm. VHS tapes, that shows how <laughs> long ago it was. And you would be not in Peter a lot Max. of... No, no, not quite that. Like, I'm just a VHS yeah. kid. But you would be on a lot of them in your tags. And, and what, what I found then, and I've got to ask you about this, and we have spoke about it, like, kind of, you know, when we're having a drink, but not properly. How soon? Because to me, you become then, when you split up with Naggers, you become the guy to wrestle the Yanks. You know, if Yoko was here, invariably, of course he'd wrestle other people, but on the tapes and on the results, invariably, he'd mostly wrestle you or Greg or talk you know, whatever yeah. Yank was yeah. here yeah. seemed to be. Did you kind of like ride that wave? You were top of the bill with Naggers, so did then the promoters go, oh, well, he's top of the bill, we'll put him on with that Yank? It did, was that like a direct, you know, did you go from that to wrestling um, the Yanks or was there a break or what, you know? Well, I, w I was wrestling Yanks before that. Actually, oh, okay, really okay. See, I like, don't know. Like yeah. with that Yamada and Fuji Yamada. So, and which was Jush in Liger. Yeah, that's right. He wrestled right, yeah. Liger. Yeah. Oh, and these other Japs that came And what over. about, um, what about uh, Tiger that, Mask? Did you ever wrestle Tiger Mask, Sammy Lee? I didn't wrestle him, but... I but you were on like, shows with the original with him, yeah. Tiger Mask. Yeah, yeah. And then wrestled... Jushi and Liger before he was Jushi and Liger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And what was he like before? Because I'm guessing no mask. I'm guessing oh, no, just no, little no, black no. trunks, black boots. That's it. Well, he had tights, like red, okay. red tights. But like no real gimmick. On. No, no. What not was really. he like? You know, he was he, he was a lovely, nice Person, young yeah. kid sort of yeah. thing. Really, again, they used to come here to learn. Yes. What well, they that. call it an excursion? It's yeah. called that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. say so, um, he were great, and uh, and uh, you know when you wrestled him in them early years, could you tell he'd be a star, or was he quite generic then, or was he all? No, he, very he, good? he was really good, and okay. he was really well built, and all yeah. that, big shoulders and yeah. things like that, big arms and that. He, he looked really good. And, yes. Like, again, straight away he was on with Rocco and yes. all these sort of matches. So, so uh, you know that that, that were like. Top of the bar, top yeah. of the bill every time. Yeah. You know these sort of matches. So um, yeah, you, you were a really, really good player. Oh, fancy! You almost knew he'd be something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. And then so so fast forward a little bit. We've done the Naggers run and we've done this, that, and the other. And then obviously that's when I would become first aware of you. You'd mm. be on against so and so or on against so and so. Me, this is me being the kid now. Watching, you know, how you were watching Naggers. This was me yeah. being the kid. Yeah. Like. Was that run just as good? Did you enjoy that going on with all these imports? Well, they call them imports now, don't they? Was yeah, that good I, or...? I, 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 I love every match I go in. Oh, class, <laughs> that's class. So no, I've been no, doing no, it 45 years or yeah. whatever. Yeah. But I still love doing it. Yeah. I mean, I ain't so good and I can't do so much. And that, obviously, I can't move so quick. If you get your but, heat, you get your heat. I, I still think I, I can do a little job when I go in there. I yeah. look rotten, I'm kind of bald, <laughs> but but you know what I mean? <laughs> still, still drink the like, beer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, I still love it yeah. as much. Oh, that's good, this lot. <laughs> to be fair, the oil, the oil and band are on in the background, but I did a test earlier when they're on and you couldn't hear them in here, so oh, we're, right. we're okay, we're unimpeded. Um, Men would, in skirts. Yeah. yeah. Um, would you be willing, and say now if you want, would you be willing to tell us the story about Yoko and the table being flipped and you and Score Murphy? Yeah, sure, sure, I think, sure. Oh, it's an old story of yours, <clears> but I don't know whether you want it in public. Yeah, I think that matter. is brilliant. These anecdotes, you know, and you know I'm going to ask you about the big V after that as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so so like the first night they came over, I went with uh, whoever it were picking them up to the airport. Yeah. There's Yokozuna and Fatu. Would it have been Scott Salmon. Conway? No, it was Shaky. No. Oh, oh, okay, he brought up Shaky first. I didn't know first. that. Go yeah. on then. Okay. Anyway, so everybody comes out with the trolleys, you know, like yeah. from the, the bit. And uh, then it's, hey, where are you? Hey, hey, hey. and all this, and there's this colossal thing why does this fan yeah yeah, come yeah. Out? He, he was at his biggest probably then yeah. weren't he he was about three largest. times as big as when he were on the telly yeah and and this other fella neither of them could walk they were leaning on these things yeah like this. yeah oh, what's gonna go on here yeah. anyway so we end anyway we end up uh, we went to bath on the first night so uh we get there and we're staying at this place like Stayed in all the best places. He never paid for one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so um, stayed at this pub and like, we're having a drink, and it's about two in the morning. And there's there's little low tables like, sitting around the walls of the, the bar, and there's me and Skull and whoever else 
Big Mark, I think he was. Oh, there. yeah, yeah. Yeah, having a drink. And uh, they're there. Because when they first come over, it was them and us. Yeah. They were the big stars. That's what I'm they, interested in, yeah. yeah. They've got it in the red that they were the big stars. Yeah, you yeah. know, they didn't we're going to talk to that. Yes. Bunch of shit, yeah. Anyway, so um, they're sitting there and uh, they're swilling down this Jack Daniels and all yeah. this sort of stuff. Anyway, we're at this table and they're sort of opposite. I don't know what was said, I can't remember. They were about two or three in the morning. All of a sudden, big joke, the big fat man, he turns the table over with his foot. Ha ha ha. And all your, our your drinks were on the everything table. Everything got, so Skull got up, he was going to kill him. I bet I he got was. Up, I, I bet him. he was. You yeah. fat, you know. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and it all kicked off. And then from then on, yeah. it all calmed down. And it, it was Bobby this and Bobby Do you think that, because you both stood up for yourselves, yeah. that put a, yeah. a, bit, a bit of respect on the yeah. situation? They, they yeah. brought about four young lads with them yeah. that went to their Samoan wrestling school. Yes, yeah. Very famous school. And yeah. they didn't go to those schools to wrestle. They went there to cut the grass for them, paint the house, Jeez. clean the car, yeah. all that yeah. sort of thing, as much as anything else, you know. Yeah. It was just exploitation. They were getting money out. Yeah, I remember you saying yeah. this, yeah. And yeah. Uh, they'd, they'd... It's an auto. They'd, like, we had a 52-seater coach, and we all sat That's in the back. That's pretty good, too. Uh, yeah, yeah, we all... Well, that won't pay for it. <laughs> but um, we sat at the back, we had a fridge there. Nice, yeah, the beer fridge. And these yanks, they all sat in the middle of the bus. Yeah. Again, they, they didn't mix with us anyway. Yeah. But we'd stop on the services on the motorway and they'd send a couple of these lads for food. Yes. Which I imagine they'd pay out of their own pocket for them. Okay. And um, the others, they'd make them run around the perimeter of the bloody yeah. services. Just a bit of daftness. Or, yeah, yeah, or get outside and do a thousand press ups or something. Yeah, outside yeah. the bus. Yeah. You know, it, it was terrible, really. A bit naughty, yeah, 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 the way you've described you know, that to me yeah. in the past. It's a bit bad, yeah. yeah. What What was Yoko Zuna like to actually wrestle? Was he, you know, was he Was he just, was it easy? He didn't, like, want to fight you every night. Was he, he, was he, he good he work? He didn't hurt you. Yeah. He didn't hurt you at all because he used to drop that big leg. He I've heard he's do. very safe. And yeah, like I've been a, told like he was safe. Donna kebab in yeah, that yeah. Night. but he looked but, like he'd take your head off. Yeah, you know, never touched I've me. I've heard he was safe wrestler. Yeah, yeah didn't touch yeah. me. But uh, but most of the match, because it, it were normally them two against me, Skull, and whoever. Right. Okay. You know, so yeah, yeah. three against two. Yes, I get. But that. he had this circus tent bloody t-shirt. Yes. On, yeah. And most of it, he had it pulled up like this, and he was just laughing into it, doing nothing. Jeez, and then okay. he'd just come in and probably just do the finish. So there's a bit of laziness yeah, at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, go, what, okay, I'm going to lead you somewhere now. And if you don't want to go there, it's fine. I can edit this bit out. Because <laughs> I know the answer. Because I think it's brilliant. The worst import you've ever wrestled. <laughs> well, you know the answer. <laughs> you know the answer. To that. Oh, for shaky again. Yeah. That big all in Cardiff. Yes, St David's. St David's yes, Hall, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, packed. That's Absolutely some good shows packed. over the years, hasn't it, that? Yeah. Yeah. So I get there and he says, uh, oh, you're going on. He was there, I told you that. New, New Jack. Jack. Yeah. I, I get him wrestling, but I don't it know didn't why you were there. That's weird. I yeah. think that's mad that you, like Blondie Barrett, British wrestler, you've got the blonde hair, the stars and the stripes, and you were backstage with hardcore cheese grating, bar boy <laughs> fighting New Jack. I think yeah. that's like a meeting of the worlds, that is. I think that's brilliant. I, I don't know even why you were there, but yeah, yeah, anyway. Yeah. That's random. So this bloody twat's there, and uh, <laughs> you're on with him. All right. So, uh, um, should we name drop him or not? Should we say, yeah, H -W -W Virgil <laughs> Rotten <laughs> dot com? Anyway, so, uh, so we, uh, oh, we're on first after the interval, so it's going to be a big surprise that yeah. we've got this just off the NWA. Oh, Virgil. Oh, yeah, you've just been NWO, hadn't he? And yeah, yeah, NWO, you have the t shirt, what did I say? Yeah. NWA. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. and uh, so it's going to be a big surprise. Oh, okay, okay, right. But he didn't want that. He never said nothing to the promoter, but he went out at half time ah. selling his gear. So there was no surprise. So there was no surprise. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Anyway, come back in. And New Jack would have been a better surprise. Yeah. I don't know about the match yeah, though. He'd have got yeah. the garbage cans out. Killed a few people. Yeah. But um, anyway, so he, said, he says, uh, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this. And I said, Yeah, all right then. So it's your match, you know, because yeah. you're who you are. And that he says, I'll, I'll do a bit. And he said, I'll knock you down. He says, <laughs> I'll drop an elbow on your back first move and I thought a bit strange yeah that is a bit anyway, weird yeah. so did a bit start off I went down on my front waiting for this elbow 
waiting for this album, <laughs> waiting for this album, and never ever come. And then I'm looking round at him, and he's standing up there. And then he bent down and he started slapping me ass. Yeah. Yeah. And I thought, well, this is fucked up. This completely is rotten. Yeah. Absolutely rotten. This yeah. is the first move. Anyway, so, uh, well, cut a long story short, it, it went downhill from then on. And so that was the highlight. Yeah, of the probably. Night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I spent, we did about, he wanted about a half hour. Yeah. Half hour. So I bet I spent 27 minutes walking yeah. around the ring. Yeah. Just to avoid yeah. any calamity. And shaky, yeah. shaky with the embassy. And I said, what the fucking hell are you doing to me here? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we get back in the dressing room and he's going, that was good, brother. All this. Oh, they were terrible. I said, yeah. it were awful. Yeah. And um, he says, well, next time, he said, we'll do that. And I says, hang on a minute. I said, there won't be a next time. <laughs> And he said, why? And I said, because you're fucking rotten. And I'm not normally like that. But you're not, you're I, not, no. no so just, it must have been really bad to it, get you it in there. It was terrible. Yeah, it was yeah. worse than that. It Jeez. was terrible. You couldn't, honestly couldn't yeah. believe how bad it was. And, well, well, you know what? To change it up a little bit, because we're getting to the end now, but like, who was your, the, import wise, because I'm thinking of who the viewers will find interesting, you know, import wise, who was the best one? Because I know you told me a few good stories about the, the bushwhacker that you got on with. Mm, yeah. Was he the best one to go on with, or there was there someone else? So it was the best one where you could just go and tear it up and actually have fun and wind the crowd when up. When his mate went home, when yeah. Butch went home. Because one went and one yeah. carried on the tour. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, when, when his mate went home, instead of doing all that silly stuff and licking the armpits yeah. and all that bollocks, yeah. um, me and him, that were Luke. Yes. That one you. Yeah, well, you yeah. got to, we, we were going to go on with him all yeah. them years later yeah. when he got injured. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he, he, he were tremendous. Yeah. Like we ripped the place apart. Brilliant. Because it, it was like, because I could imagine him like when he were them sheep, sheep herders. Yeah. When they ago. were dynamic and went for Ultra it. Ultra yeah. violent. Yes. Bad stuff. And me and him were doing that. Brilliant. Things like that. Yeah. Know, so so he, he went back to more being himself because he weren't in yeah. the tag. We we did one at. I'll tell you quick. We did one at um, this leisure village or something at Kettering. Yeah. And that and it was a lowish ceiling. And we did something and hit the roof and all the tiles come down, oh, about no five or six of them, and they yeah. come down and smashed in the way. And that was for Jake, who was yeah. just dying. Oh, and but, yeah, and yeah. Uh, Jake bollocked, because we were top of the bill, so <laughs> we got away with it, and everybody else got a bollock in. Yeah. But you didn't do it, we you didn't get the bollock in, brilliant. That, that yeah. was a, that's another funny thing. Yeah, There's yeah. so many funny little things you yeah. can, you know. Yeah. You know, you say like wrestlers could write a book, we'd laugh at them, but nobody else would. Yeah, because some of it is like yeah. edgy or yeah. Well, yeah. weird humour, isn't it? Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but uh, <laughs> so, so funny. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, and again, like, because I said to you, I'd love to go on in the Honky Tonk Man, because yeah. I love that because it was a funny villain gimmick. Yeah. Funny villains. Yeah. yeah. Not, and it was soon different as I booked him, I had to have yeah. him in that match. Yeah. And another one, I haven't actually said this to you out loud, but I've said it to all the lads. Whenever I get drunk, I kind of like, I, we'll talk about who I wish I had a booked or who I've mm. tried or won a book. And I've always wanted to book Jerry Lawler. But oh, yeah. for me, that's a singles match, you and yeah. him. I've yeah. said all the lads are bored to death oh, of it because no, I've told him. No, he didn't, Lawler, don't. No, oh, no, no he's he all that. the punches, oh, really good that. punches. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and for me, you, your styles are similar. Mm. And that's, if I ever get old as Jerry Lawler. Two little fat men. <laughs> no, 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 no. Two little that. fat no, old men. No, no. <laughs> no, just heat. I, yeah. Honestly, I've bored the lads to death with it. If I ever book him, you know you, yeah. it's you and him. I've said it loads and loads and loads. You'll have to take the pole driver, though, Bob. I'm sorry, mate. Now, on that, then, I'll wrap it up because it's getting ever so steamy in here it is, yeah. I can't see through my glasses but um, completely not in look at yeah, this it is because I've, I've had to shut the windows because yeah. of the marching man yeah. but I will say this because we've done evening weavers and all of that we only ever scratched the surface with mm, you so yeah. maybe next season we'll get you back and talk even more if yeah, that's alright yeah, right. yeah. thank you very yeah, much Bob you. cheers mate Thanks. and uh, see you later folks nice one